Wait one time, I'm sure I'm recording, I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to a special episode. So, it has been over a year since our Coromon series ended. Now, it's weird to think that, I tell you, it's weird to think that. But I was planning on making this video on the November uh, 29th anniversary, but I was just not feeling good at that time. So, I did not. But, I wanted to check and see if my saves were here, but I'm pretty sure that this save right here that you're seeing is not my main save, that it is my demo save for some reason. My main save has just... Catch a Toruga where it last tracks. Oh wait, it is my main save. We got Yuruka, Yuruka, uh, Riley, Masana, Moffat, Momo, Spooky. We got the whole gang together. Uh, yeah, I forgot how uh, under leveled Riley was. It was our newest addition to the team. Uh, but it has been so long since we last played Coromon that I decided, you know what, I might as well record an episode of it because I did want to do one for the one year anniversary. So I guess this would be a little bit after the one year anniversary anniversary <laughs> episode. Uh, uh, Radiant Park, I tell you. You know what, this game never gets old. Was that always here? I don't think so. I think that's new. I think that's online battling. I did see something down at the bottom of the screen. Battle Dome. No, I've never been here before. Kind of reminds me of that one place from, uh, what do you call it? What's that one place called again? Let me see. What's it called again? I cannot remember what it's called again. The Battle Tower for Pokemon... Ruby? And Sapphire? Is that the right one? Can I get in there? Let me in! Oh wait. Nope. Yo, can I sign up? Welcome as seen, client to my star spangled counter. <laughs> Literally a star spangled. I see you stargazing as if Cosmos has left you perplexed. So let me take off with a quick explanation of what my job here is in the battle dome. Do you see the items in that cabinet here? A star amazing outfit, some sparkling star crystal packs, and even a stellar Coromon skin. With utmost joy, it is my duty to hand them out to the best battle researchers in the entire galaxy. Oh seriously, that's me. I want the whole shebang, please. Ha! I like your optimism. But it doesn't work like that. We need some proof of your progress first. In the shape of dome stars. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I played Pokemon Coliseum back in the day and there used to be this tower. Huh? My favourite thing about this tower is that you could actually uh, level up in that tower. So I used it as uh, basically a level up thing. You really needed to level up quite a lot. The last thing that I actually did in Pokemon uh, Coliseum before uh, my GameCube cut out because it overheat was uh, I was leveling up my Pokemon <laughs> in the, <laughs> oh, the Battle Mountain or something like that. Good times, Ed. You can initiate a dome challenge at the other desk. I'm confident you won't have trouble earning dome stairs there. Ah, so this is our reward, but I don't want to spoil it. But there is 10 rewards. Welcome to the Battle Dome, where battles are endless and excitement knows no bounds. Is there anything I can assist you? I want to take on the dome challenge. Great choice. Please select your the opponents you would like to simulate and Coromon you would like to take with you. Every... Okay. Coromon Rush? Titan Rush? I think I'll start with, uh, of squads. Set from squad. Set from Coromon storage. Ah, 
Ah, so that's my Coromon storage. But this is a loan. But I would love to take set from squat. Yeah, I can set from my own squat, okay. Yes, that's all that I want to take. Set from squad, again. Eh. Uh, well, you know what, I'll probably take Masani as it is a war. So I feel like I should take Moffat. Hmm. Crunch. Monsoon. Crushing Waterfall? Soul Crush? Crush the target soul of its will to fight deals damage and lowers the uh, target's SP Bubble Blower? Monsoon's not bad. You know what, we might as well do this as a test round. You know what, I, I don't even know about all of the stuff I tell you. Yeah, I think that's a gang I don't want to take in. Yeah. Okay, Coromon Rush. You know what? Get me insane. Smarter Coromon T. Non. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with my squad. It is a test round, so, you know, we'll see how it goes, I tell you. I don't think they automatically level up my Pokemon for this. Aha! It's showtime! Welcome, Tankleberry! Welcome to the Marvel that is our Battle Dome! I'm your host today, dedicated to helping you grasp the ins and outs of this thrilling challenge. Please follow me a bit further down this preparation room. You know what? I wish it was a second game, I tell you. I really wish it was a second game. I would love to play through uh, Coromon again. In Dome Challenges, picking the top Coromon isn't the sole factor for achieving the longest winning streak. Preparing them to counter your opponents is equally crucial. And that's precisely where the devices surrounding us come into play. Preparing your you for your battles. They're storing your Coromon's HP, SP or both. Changing their trait, evolution stage or potential stage and getting useful items from the shop to aid them. It's all equally important, but it all comes at a cost. As for each action you need to spend, the precious dome tokens you earn from battle. Speaking of battles, it's time to get your first winning streak started. Follow me to the next room where our phenomenal battle simulator awaits. So, it cost me a bit to heal. Here we are, feel free to put the simulation headset while on while I explain how it works. The battle simulator is designed to supply you with a ultimate amount of opponents. By default, the device hides upcoming opponents and only reveals its level. But there's also a options menu in there that can Unveil your opponent's identity by spending just a handful of Dawn tokens. Why would I want to waste tokens on that? And for these daring enough in need of extra Dawn tokens, there are enticing options to amplify the strength of your opponent as well. After you do 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 the real challenge begins as you step into an actual battle. Simulations closely mirror the mechanics of regular battle but with one notable distinction. Through through carefully tracking the vitals. Do, 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 do. Okay, can we get into this? Calculations of your dome. Okay. General principle the higher remain in HP of your Cormon, the lower their utilization of SP, the more. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Come on. Start your start battle against opponent one. Where am I? I seem to be where that uh, dojo was a long time ago. I thought I was going up against uh, 
milestone achieved. Well, Galatia! Well, that normally works. Berserk! At least I have that revitalizer jam, I tell you. Well, I guess I'll go Avalanche. You know what? You're really annoying me. You're really annoying me. Splash. Splash. There we go. How did one of my Pokemon... Well, not Pokemon. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about Pokemon earlier, so... Uh, how did one of my Coromon get to XP, I tell you? Doesn't make sense. I got 26 from that? Well, not 26, you know. 19? Not bad. Start opponent number 2. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a water one. And that will actually be quite good because I have an ice type. Oh, it's one of these things. I've not seen one of you in ages. Time to go kick your butt now with uh... Yes, I know how much is this thing. Avalanche! I one-shot it! <laughs> that is very good! 19 dome tokens! <laughs> I might have to take that level up soon, I tell you. Run! Opponent number 3! Oh, it's another one. Come on, beat it. Oh, wait, it's not going to be the same one. Ah, it's going to be one of the uh, volcano ones, isn't it? No. I thought we were playing on the higher uh, difficulty. It's insane. I guess not. I hope I get a high hitting one, I tell you. It does a lot of damage, but it seems like it's downgraded its damage for more- Ah! That's what it gained. Splash. So when it comes as the next attack, it's gotta do a lot of damage. Goodbye. 18 dome tokens. <laughs> All right. Well, we're so uh, seeing his HP. Well, let's go. That's really all that I wanted. Takes ten. It's not a bad deal. Start battle against opponent number four. Oh, we got beach again. Yeah, that's not too bad. I tell you, that is not too bad. You know what, it's great playing Neo Coromon again, I tell you. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, we don't have a bad matchup, do we? We just need to regain some of my SP. So wait one second, Hound Trion. Poison Chomp. Well, that's going to be very terrible for me. Oh, no, I guess not. Well. Hmm. Avalanche. Poison chomp. Please do not poison. Yeah, I've been poisoned. Does, does effects... They do heal the effects. It's just, uh... Retaliation. Retaliation used to be so strong, I tell you. I think I used it too much that they decided to downgrade it. Why waste, you know, high SP moves on this thing when it's just about to die? 19, not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, it's great playing this game again. You know what, I enjoy the Battle Dome actually. I enjoy it. 
It just reminds me of the old, you know, battle tower from like, you know, or battle mountain from, you know, Pokemon Coliseum and Omega Ruby. Well, we didn't have one in Omega Ruby. Ruby and Sapphire. The one in uh, Omega Ruby was never built. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. I will recover. And then I shall take you out, Gal Slime. Splatter, really? I'm an ice type. Why use an ice move on me? Oh, goodbye. Not a cool take out, but you know what? Hmm. Glacier. Transcendent? Oh. Get out of here. Splash. There we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> 18 dome tokens. We can go another. Like, it just sees this person just keep running in. <laughs> Putting on the headset. Oh, we're at a good advantage right here now. Oh yeah! There's no grass types in this game. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking back to that. I remember someone in the, the reviews of this game said there was no grass types. And that is quite true, I tell you. You never see any grass types. I was not expecting that. Another lacerate. Come on, uh, me attack first, come on. My last splash Rapture. shall do effectiveness. And I died. Well, that's not too good, I tell you. That is not too good at all. Don't worry, I have a water type specially for <laughs> this kind of stuff. Bubble blower. Take the bubbles. Goodbye. Rapture. We never really got to use a uh, thingy that much, I tell you, Miss Annie. Yeah, let, let's uh, there we go. Not a bad deal, I tell you. Another battle. Well, go to battle seven, and then that'll be us done. Should really swap out to Masani now, shouldn't I, for these certain ones? Ah. <laughs> Pretty sure I could just avalanche this. Oh, poop. I forgot about the meteor strike. I'm burned. No. At least I have revitalizer. It kind of just, you know, neutralizes it, you know, by hand. <laughs> you know what? I like how it levels up the Pokemon. On. Well, not Pokemon, Coromon. <laughs> I keep saying Pokemon, I do apologize. The Coromon. To the higher, you know, levels. I like that touch. I was not too sure if it was going to have that, you know. But they do. They do. And that's very good for us. Not for our enemies. Yeah, we would have been at a big dan disadvantage. Big dan disadvantage? It's getting hot in here. One soon. I neutralized your effect. Really? You know, we're still... You know what, Crunch? Get him out of here. 
20 tokens, not bad. Not bad at all. Oi. Opponent number 8. I was actually thinking about doing some quests, I tell you. I'm pretty sure one of our quests is still bugged out. And it has to be that, you know, B one. No, no. <laughs> I don't actually know your type, probably. But I'm pretty sure you're weak to Avalanche. Did a good amount of damage, Glacia. Retaliation? Well, you don't have a team, I tell you. If you keep going retaliation, that'd be good. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm almost dead. Luckily I survived by a few hit points. Miss Annie, how'd you come? Oh, it's because Riley's on the team. You know what, I totally forgot I had Riley on the team now. I'll poop as a water against electric. Soul Crush. Oh wait, it's not electric, is it? There we go. Effective. Not bad, I tell you. Not bad at all. 19 Dome Tokens. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that to milk. Pretty sure if you just ran out, they would just, you know, have you just gain them back by, you know, battling. You know, I wonder what's up there, the, these steps. I've been on that beach before, but I can't remember. It's, it's that place, yeah. I remember now. Avalanche. One hit KO, yes. Well, critical hit. Not bad, not bad at all, Yurika. They gave me 17 because of that fast. <laughs> the battle didn't even last that long. Battle number 10? We haven't really been around here. Looks like it's going to be uh, Eureka's chance to shine. You know what? I have not seen you before. You're like a psychic monkey. Mixed with a lima. Not bad. Lemom. Lem. Lemobi? Lemobi. Ah, you're a special attacker. Oh. Blog this glacier then. You did block the glacier, but you're frozen solid. It's bleeding from its wound, just just punch it. Punch the monkey. Get it out of here. No more lemurs around here. 149. Well, see you old man. Let's take a break. I guess you could go to a hundred. Chance to repel. Hmm. I guess they're still locked. Oh, thanks. Well, let's, let's just head out of here then. We'll come back here next Tuesday. What is that? Day bonus? Don't remember this. Daily Maya stones are not a Oh. Interesting. Rewards. Not bad, I tell you. 
Not bad at all. We really have came a long way, I tell you. Ah. Oh. Forgot about that. Hello there, Swarmy. How you doing? How's the day going? How's the wife? Bye. Have a nice day, Swarmy. I do miss our Swarmy. You know what? I'm so sad that I missed out on that one time that they were doing a plushie for Swarmy. Ah, oh, breaks my heart every time I tell you. I would love to Swarmy plushie. You know what? We should work on uh, getting a level 100 Swarmy. That'd be what we have to work to, I tell you. That is our goal. A level 100 Swarmy. Maybe they'll give me a plushie for it. Uh, spending all that time to get a level 100 Swarmy. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a long time to get a level 100 Swarmy, I tell you. Hey Vale. And where's that last? I'm trying to find that last uh thing that I need to check. Who was this tree? Hmm. Can I go that way? And I'll go that way. Yeah, that's quite strange. That is quite strange, I tell you. Well, 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 this is deep. Quite true. Push, push this guy in there. There was a time. When we didn't have any technology in this town, but times are changing. Quite true, quite true. I love how you can battle online now. The game has really changed since the last time that we actually played, I tell you. But I wanted to see a logbook, that's it. Beazel. I'm looking for one more Beazel around Hayville, escaped from Hayville. I didn't realize our, you know, time playing this game, it's almost 24 hours. We are playing on easy, I tell you, but you know what? I'm playing for fun. That's what I'm playing for. I don't think I would have survived. No, wait, I would have survived normal. Eh, let's see. Or, wait one second. I'm looking up the locations. One, two, three, four. Well, there, there used to be one next to us. Well, we got that one. Ah. No, I did not want to go in there. Sorry, I've not completed your quest. I know it's been like a few years now. Hmm, I was so sure that there was something up here. Ah. Like, the Beezles are not that hard to look for on the map that I have here. It shows you all the locations. How's it going? Oops, sorry. I have so many spinners left to make, I guess I won't be sleeping anytime soon. You said that about a year ago. You still making them? That was a cute teddy bear. I want to go see the teddy bear. Cute teddy bear. Keep up the good work, I tell you. Onwards. Hmm. 
Here in Perrin's backyard, I can practice chopping down trees without serving everyone. Should have thought about that sooner. Where's our last beetle? Well, not beetle. Well, there should be one right here. But I think I got that one. Definitely. Okay, so that's one. There was one there, that's two. One at the well, that's three. Eh. One on the street, that's four. One in the field there? Hmm. Did I get that one in the field? I'm pretty sure this bug, you know, there is a bug with this quest and it's not actually working. Because I've tried, I've been in this field before. Let's not disturb the <laughs> uh. Well, there's one here. Oh, there it is. I've searched all over this place just for that one bee, Beezel. I've been seeding and plowing so long that my wife, but I'm a man of the land, for quite disciplined and benefit in this job. I grow a beard on my chin, and all of my if owned as well and fine. Harvest fest here, and we'll enjoy the party time. Why does it remind me of that one there? Uh, Amish song. Wait, wait, wait. We spent most of our lives living in this small paradise, and we like it so much that we'll live out the rest here. Twenty-five percent coupon. Aye, I've been looking for you for over a year. You thought you could hide here and sleep your time away. You saw it wrong. It's time to meet your maker. I don't know why we took this outside, but you know what? It's understandable. We need to make sure the people don't get hurt. Avalanche. Goodbye, Beezle. Now you're out of my bee beeswax. Wax beeswax. At six, found all the escaped beetles. I should inform back. <sighs> Took us this long, I tell you. This long to complete this one quest, I tell you. <laughs> one quest. Uh, I saw it was bugged out, I tell you. I've, I've looked all over this village. I've been in that house. I never saw the thing. Welcome to our local trainer hub. How can I help you? Hello again. I've managed to fix all... Find all six beetles. Wow. I sent you on that quest a year ago. And you just come back here now. Okay, but at least it's all right, I tell you. At least it's all right. Ah, that's great to hear. Thank you so much for your help, even though you're a year late. We don't have much, but I can give you the stinky disc as a reward. If you give it to the leading Pokemon, Coromon, not Pokemon, Coromon in your squad, it will help you repel wild Coromon. Chance to repel wild Coromon is... Thanks, that to come in handy. You're welcome. If you ever need help, need of help, feel free to come by and come by again. I'll do that. Bye. Finally, one of the oldest quests we've had is finally completed. But with that done, I think that's where we're going to call it. Velma from R&D Lab needs some ingredients to finish her module. One bare fruit, two sweet shrooms, two zen shroom, and two grimstone. Oh, two grim shroom. One bare fruit. Hmm. Hmm. 
one bear fruit. Ah, I have nine bear fruit. Okay, what was the other uh, thing that she needed? S two sweet rooms? So two sweet rooms. And what was the other one? Two sweet rooms and two zen rooms. Who's in room? Ah, you know what? How about we go on a little bit of a journey? I know there's a there's a bee's nest here. Bee's nest here. I'll check out and see if that teleporter is ready at all. Hey, can I borrow your teleporter? Thank you. Sorry, swamp. I guess it's poor buddy. Let's go. And hello. Imagine someone just turns off the other side. We we're just stuck there. <laughs> uh, that would be good for, you know, a story for the second game. Someone got stuck like a professor or something. They're so mad that, you know, when they finally get out of it, they, you know, take their revenge on us, so they're both down there. Wonder who both that is. Don't know why I never got this. HP and defense. I need blue mushroom. No! It was ready! You stupid little guy! No, you stupid thingy! The other one's ready now! <laughs> ah, sweet room. Well, that, that should be all, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Did I get them all? I need more sweet rooms. I need one sweet room. You know what? Where's that item? You know what, just use it. That green one's ready. Come on. Grimshroom ready. I'll wait for these sweet rooms. It's not too far off the now. Aha. Uh -huh. A switch room. And I can now get that one over there. Let me on. Okay, just get me off of there. You're a sweet room, right? Okay, I'll wait for you. 
We're almost there, I tell you. We're almost there. When this is ready, we collect it. Wait for it. Sorry, I was showing something there. Now I got curious. Like, what's... 21 hours? I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry, one over there. Sweet room. Should I wait for this one? No. I don't really care. We got that one. You, you're about to flash. Come on. A mint room? I don't think we've gotten a mint room before. We'll grab that as well. They're all just, you know, growing now because, you know, we waited. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, had enough of Paul Berry for, you know, a lifetime after that, you know, Titan puzzle. Oh, that Titan puzzle, I tell you, was terrible. Now, where is that person located? Ah, oh, Velma, R&D Labs. Yeah, R&D Labs. Ah, finally. You know, we'll complete two quests today, I tell you. Well, good day there. Is that R&D? Coromon Lab? That's a train station. This must be R&D. This is not R&D. R&D must be over here. What's going on here? I've become the best battle researcher ever. I think my supervisor notices my talents, don't you agree? Finding young talents is an important part of the business. We want to keep gathering relevant data now and then. Between you and me, I don't think these tools will make the cut. Uh, so happy that Lux Solis introduced the youth program. It enables us to help the young talents get the, some first hand experience for Color Roman battle. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, where is that R&D lab? I can't remember. I don't have... I do have a map, but you know. Radiant Park? No. I cannot remember where the sound deal lab is. You know, we get brought around it and I can't even remember where it is. Oh, you know where the R&D lab is? No? Okay. Well, I guess we might as well go see our mother. <whistles> yeah, we are delivered to the front door. Can you finally clean your room? I'm just kidding, honey. Take some time off, play some video games with Dexter's. You deserve it. You saved the planet? Yeah, so what? You still can't beat my Swarmy Rush high score. You're only good at unimportant things. Where's that kid, Sion? Singy. Is on this PC? I'll bid you reckon no bother. 
my favorite video game. What is it? I don't know. Can't even remember where the swarmy bit is. Yeah, okay. Well, as I cannot find, you know. I knew it was gonna swap around. As I cannot find the stupid R&D lab, I tell you. Push that guy into the water. Goodbye. Who's, who's coffee's been there for ages? That person's in us. Ah, these two lovebirds, I tell you, looking at each other from far away distances. Only for me to run by. <laughs> Screaming about someone's car. <laughs> uh. yeah, it must it must be around here somewhere. Oh, there's an R&D lab. I knew it was over here, but you know. Brain sod. That is park over there, nothing else. Benema. I smell something mildly disgusting. Ah, the ingredients are requested. Yes, these should suffice. Totally forgot about the Grim's room. Super gross, but I'll have to mash, 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 bash, bash, smash, smash. Phew. Now we just pour this disgusting pulp into the module. And voila. 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 The power of science is absolutely incredible. Is it not? This is the Roma module. As promised, you shall be the very first to test it out in the field. Here you go. A Roma module. The Roma module will give you the ability to encounter Coromon of higher levels than normal. Specifically, four to six levels higher than you'd see in the wild normally. As even just walking grass patch activate duh, duh, duh. yeah we know how this works we know how this works access granted yo old man in wheelchair goodbye well it is time to end for today so hopefully you enjoyed this. Have a nice day, safe, and just a little bit. Some more shoes, need vitamins, very important. Have a nice day, thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye bye.